Hey, it's Chad. I just want to show you a, a, an easy way or an easier way to create a watermark um, image that you can place over top of your videos. And so let me show you what I mean. Here is in this video, I have a watermark defined, and this image has my image. This is just for example. My image in the top left corner and Chad Wyatt and a phone number and this is something I typically use with clients where I just their logo or their picture name business name and then a phone number and maybe a web address up here uh, I usually put it in the upper left hand corner and then on some real estate clients you know or my real estate clients I'll put the little uh, the you know equal housing logo realtor logo and stuff down there um, so it's not necessarily intuitive as far as how to create one of these images because the image needs to be, uh, if you hover over this watermark, you'll see uh, select an image to use as a watermark. This image should be, I need to update this, is it should actually say um, 1920 by 1080, and but it definitely needs to be a transparent PNG. Um, a common mistake people make is they'll upload an image here and by default, Video Sketcher will stretch the image to fit this area. Well, if your image has no transparent areas, it will just cover your video. And when you play or record or you know publish the video, you don't see your slides underneath. The watermark covers it. So anyway, let's go into how to um, create this uh, image online pretty easily. All right, so I'm at a website called Pixlr, pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com, and you want to click on the editor here, and so we end up pixlr.com slash editor, and we want to create a new image starting with blank, blank image, and you scroll to the bottom of this, there's an option for the 1080p. This will automatically create uh, a 1920 by 1080 image. Uh, which is the HD, max HD size, and it'll automatically scale to fit, uh, you know, um, any size image um, that would fit, work as a watermark. Any size video you end up creating with uh, Video Sketcher, whether it's a um, the smallest uh, 640 by 360 or, or otherwise. So anyway, just start with this as the biggest, and we want to make it transparent. So go ahead and click that okay so now this is our starting point this is uh, imagine this is our video screen right here and we're going to start to um, start by importing our um, an image so if I want to go here I'm going to open open an image Let's see pictures Okay, so I actually have two images started here. Well, and I'm not sure there might be an easier way to just import right into the current image, but so I've, I've opened this one and what I all I have to do is I click the layer here and I'm going to drag it into the first image, my watermark image. So I want to just drag it over here and it puts it right there at the top. You can you have these tools here on the left. So I click on the arrow this is the tool I can use to adjust positioning and stuff like that. And then what I'm going to do is uh, resize this. So if I click this and I go to, I forget which one it is here. There's one called Free Transform. Image, edit, yeah, right here. Control T, I guess. So you can use the menu or if you hit Control T, you get these little handles here and you can scale it now notice it gets out of whack if you hold your shift key down while doing this it'll keep the aspect ratio um, the same so I'm just going to resize it down a bit put it up here in the top left corner and then when I click away it asks if I want to apply the changes yes okay then the next thing is going to add some text so I click on the text button. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to just type my name. 
I'm going to use um, a different font. You can see as you as you hover over these, you can kind of see the preview up above. Um, let's see. Let's go with um, impact as kind of a, a nice bold. So I'm going to go up here. Where is it? There it is. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and size it up. Like that. And I'm going to change the color to white. If you go to the web section, it's easy to just grab the white right here. Okay, so it's white. It's kind of hard to see right now. But now let me show you something else. So if we're going to add a little backdrop uh, shadow to it, drop shadow. So if you right click on the image, you get um, this menu and we want to go to layer styles and we're just going to click on drop shadow. All right. And then we're going to make the, uh, the distance needs to be a little closer, tighter and like that. And you can play with these settings, but something like that, which should work. Um, now an easy way, and I want to add the phone number. I think, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this layer. So let's duplicate. I could probably add another line of text, but let's just duplicate this layer. So I've got two. You can't see it. It's right on top of the other ones, but I can drag the duplicate down here. And this is where I'm going to, I'm just going to modify this and add a phone number. So I go to back to my text tool. This, oh no. Okay. And that's that's it. I mean, it's just a simple, quick way to do that. You could get fancier. You maybe could add some other things, add other logos and whatever. But this this gets you started. Um, simple image at the top, name, phone number. You could maybe add a web address. I like to just add it as text at the bottom of the actual video using the watermark text versus watermark image. But once you have it set up like this, you can then... Uh, just go to File and hit Save, and then you can save it right to your desktop. But make sure you choose, this is important, PNG Transparent Full Quality. So you have to have some transparency, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, so once you've done that, hit OK. You'll save to your computer, and then you can load it into Video Sketcher that way. Okay, well, um, I hope that helps with uh, getting you... Um, some basic watermark images, especially if you don't have a software like Photoshop or you're not familiar with uh, Photoshop. So thanks.